Hey everyone, today I'm here with a collab video. Now this collaboration was arranged by Fern from My Kiwi Family and she invited various New Zealand YouTubers to participate and I was excited to be a part of it as well because I think it was such a good idea. It's called the Gathering Dust Collab and what it is is finding five items in your home that are just sitting around gathering dust that you don't use but that you'll never ever get rid of and talk about why they're meaningful to you and why you hang on to them even though you don't actually use them. So I kind of had a look around because I don't keep clutter so it was kind of difficult to find five things but of course we all have those items. I will just get started and show you what they are. So I'll start with this cobalt blue ceramic jug. I have this stored in my pantry on the top shelf in the back corner and that's why I don't use it. It's not because it's not useful, it's because I just forget to get it out. I don't decorate in cobalt blue and usually when I'm entertaining like nothing else I have is cobalt blue so I just don't tend to think of it. Um, but this jug I will never get rid of because it was my grandmother's and I have, I only have three things from her, a pair of little crystal vases, this jug and a bracelet that I do wear. Um, so I'll never get rid of it and I should actually just put it in a more accessible place so that I will use it because it is useful and I like having something that not only was hers but that she used to use. It doesn't make sense, I just like that this was a part of her kitchen and her home and that I have it now. The next thing I have is a stack of books. Um, these are the Julia Donaldson books that we own. We have Squash and a Squeeze, Charlie Cook's favorite book, The Magic Paintbrush, Monkey Puzzle, Chocolate Mousse for Greedy Goose, and Room on the Broom. I know we have the Gruffalo and the Gruffalo 2 as well. I don't know where they are. Um, but I love Julia Donaldson books. She has such a lovely way with words and rhythm to her rhyming and they are so enjoyable and my kids have outgrown these books and I know I could just replace them in the future but I'm hanging on to them for my grandchildren. These books um, I will keep for them and for well for any kids that come to visit that I'm looking after um, I can enjoy these books again because I just love them and I didn't want to get rid of them. So these are a few books on my bookshelf that we don't really use but I won't get rid of. Also on my bookshelf is this. <laughs> this is Grant's helmet from when he was in the police in the UK and yeah this is what they wore as part of the uniform. Do I look the business? Um, obviously he doesn't wear it anymore because he's in the New Zealand police now and no longer in Lancashire Constabulary. It still has his collar number in the back there. Um, I think he was supposed to give this back when he left, but he didn't, and he kept it. And it's kind of, it's literally gathering dust, like it's cocked, I need to get a lint roller to it. We do have it on display, so I guess we kind of have it in use as a decoration, but obviously it's not being used for what it's meant to be used for. But I'll never get rid of it because not only is it a part of his history or our like family history, but the fact that he joined the police is the thing that made it possible for us to move to New Zealand and so that's really important to us that's like a meaningful um, career choice that he made because it affected our whole lives and our children's lives and our future so that is something that maybe a bit unusual not everyone has one of these I have that on the shelf gathering dust the next item is this canvas um, let's see if I can hold it up it is I think I think it is 25 inches square, something like that. I'll insert a picture here of what the actual shot is. So that's Noah on his first birthday. And I just love that picture. He's so cute and the canvas is such a high quality canvas. It's not a clay print like you normally get where it's kind of like I don't know, how do they do it? They kind of like varnish it onto, I don't know. You know when you normally go to like a photo developing place and you order a canvas, it's not like that. This is actually canvas fabric and the image is like embedded into the fabric. They are beautiful. I'll leave a link down below to the company. It's called Bags of Love. And when I had my photography business, I used to order my canvases from them because they're such high quality and they're so durable as well. And this is not an advert for Bags of Love, this is just, um, explaining why I had this. I used to use them for my business and I had this hanging up in my studio as an example of a canvas for, for clients to see. Um, but I think it's just beautiful. I love the picture. I love that it's Noah on his first birthday and I love the 
the canvas, the colors of it, everything. But there's nowhere in our home that's appropriate to hang it. And it's kind of weird that it's just Noah. Like if it was both kids, I'd probably find a place to hang it. But it's weird that it's just Noah. I did have in our home where it was hanging in England, I had a different framed shot of Daniel. So there was like one of each, but um, don't have that anymore. Um, I won't get rid of the canvas though. I'll hang on to it because I think maybe his wife would like it one day. So that's something that's gathering dust. It's just in storage, wrapped in a sheet under my bed but I won't get rid of it because I love it. And the last thing I chose is a pair of shoes. I am shoe crazy, I have quite the shoe collection, um, but these shoes, I absolutely love them. They're little wedges, they, I just think they're so cool, but I've never actually worn them and I don't know why. I don't know why. I think because although they're wedges and they're not too high and they're very comfy, they're very narrow at the back so they can be a bit wobbly anyway. I don't know. I, I think they're so cute and I know I will wear them at some point. I've had them for years. I've had them for probably about seven or eight years and never worn them. But I will one day and I have got rid of shoes in the past that I have deeply regretted. So it is very seldom now that I will get rid of a pair of shoes. But yeah, honestly, these are gathering dust and I haven't worn them. But I have hope that I will one day, so that's why I'm hanging on to them. So those were my items for the Gathering Dust collaboration. I'll leave a link down below to the playlist. Go ahead and check out everybody else's videos. Maybe give them a bit of love, a comment, like, um, and consider subscribing. Um, there's a great bunch of women involved in this and I'm eager to see their videos. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.